Hi guys, welcome to this session on LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to talk about a basic if statement. So I've got three different bits of data, and I'm going to go through three different examples. So the first one is basically working out whether I should have a bonus based on the sales figures. So a basic if statement is, is of three elements, a test, and then the comma, what to do if that test is true, and then another comma, what to do if that test is false. So in this example, let's have a look how that works. So if I start off by typing equals if, that's the function name, when I open bracket, it wants the test. So my test is going to be this figure in B2. So if that is greater than 21,000, they get a bonus, comma. So what is the bonus? What is the bonus? So I'm going to say the bonus is 10% of sales. You get 10% of sales. So what I need to do here is click on that and do a times 10%. Times 10%. Comma, if I haven't got a bonus, you don't get anything. Zero. Then you close the bracket, click the tick. There you go. And then that's just a sum of those two. Sum tick and then I want another if statement there to say well done or more effort if I haven't made a bonus so well done if I have made a bonus more effort if I haven't equals if open the bracket so if this cell is greater than zero comma well done and that has to go inside quotes like that comma, otherwise more effort, close quotes, close bracket, very important that you get these commas in there, without the commas it doesn't work and without these quotes if you've done text it doesn't work either, so tick and then that's all working fine. Now. The way I've done this is I've used cell references, and I'm not a fan of cell references. I like to name ranges. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this list, and I'm going to call it sales. Press enter on that. I'm going to highlight this list and call it bonus. Press enter on that. And then I'm going to change this formula to say if not B2, but if sales, so get rid of that B2, if it lets me highlight it, just backspace it off. So if sales is greater than 21,000, look at sales and times by 10%. Sales, there's a little two there, so it doesn't like that. And there's a little two there as well. is greater than 21,000 and I've deleted a comma I should have typed it from scratch but it's good sometimes when it um, doesn't work because then you can see where you've made the mistake so if sales is greater than 21,000 notice there's no commas or pound signs in that and if that's true look at sales and get 10% of it so 2,300 is 10% of that so if it's not true zero now if I pull that down, you can see that's less than 21,000, so is that one, so there's no bonus there. This is just a sum, so I can just pull that down. That will work that out. Now this one, I will delete this one. So I'm now going to type it from scratch and say, equals if, now I've called this purple area bonus, so if bonus equals zero, which means they haven't got a bonus, comma, more effort. Otherwise, if they have got a bonus, well done. Check it, comma, comma, quote, quote, click the tick. So well done on the first one. And then it says more effort on these two where there was no bonus. 
So that's just a look at a basic if using name ranges and using cells. Now let's do this one. So there's the overtime hours. So I want this to say if they do more than eight hours, they get overtime. Equals if, open the bracket this time, not using names. If H2 is greater than eight, comma, you want it to say overtime. So overtime, otherwise no overtime. Right, so check the commas, tick. So no overtime and then pull that down. And it says no overtime, no overtime, 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 overtime. And if I change any of these, if I change that to nine hours, overtime. Now on this one, I'm going to use names again. So basically I'm going to highlight this section. And I'm going to call it budget. So call it budget. Enter. And then this is going to be actual. Actual. Enter. Now I can use those words to refer to these two lists. Equals if. If actual is greater than budget. Now I didn't need to put quotes around those because their name ranges. But I will need to do that now. So if you've spent more than you got budget, you're over budget. So this first bit needs to be, this is true, this needs to be over budget. In quotes. Or you are within budget if it's false. Now this is a very simplistic um, example. Obviously, what do you want it to say if you're equal to? You know, you need to you need to apply that sort of option. So I'll just double click that down and you can see how that's done. So over budget. That was the planned spend, that was the actual spend, it's bigger, so over budget. So an if statement is a very useful tool to pull up information that you can then act on. So that's all I wanted to cover in this little session, how to do a basic if and how to do a basic if with names. So hopefully you found that of use. Thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next one.